What's going on guys? Nickelback fan here coming at you with a new Dual Blade video. Before I get into episode 3, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watching the videos, enjoying the content. You know, you, you really are inspiring me to, to keep going and keep making these videos. So for that, thank you very much. Uh, today I want to start this video off with some just some words of wisdom. No matter how low you're feeling, no matter how bad you feel like you've got it, just remember someone else in this world probably feels just like you and you're not alone. With that, I hope you have a great day and just remember you're gonna get through this. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you there. So I logged in today to find out that my character's name has changed. Guava Love? What the heck is this? I guess Nexon didn't really like my uh, first name. And I don't really think I did either. I, I doubt it. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that nobody would notice it because uh, I made it more so as a meme to my guild because i'm in the guild come and everybody was coming up with these different like names kind of tied to the guild and honestly i think i had the best one but uh apparently nexon did not like it i took a less conventional route to getting to level 200 uh, some might call me lazy and you know what, pretty much everybody's gonna call me lazy and somewhat of a cheater, if you will. You know, I, I've been promoting that this character is restricted to weapon, secondary, and emblem only. However, I bonked my way all the way from level 155 up to 198. Like, this guy's a cheater, you know? Well, at this time, I honestly didn't have enough energy to clover cap on my main and grind on this character, so I had to just utilize the resources available to me. There's some little event going on right now where you can get a, every day you log in for 15 minutes and you can get like one free gift and an extreme growth potion is one of the gifts. So I've just been picking that one every day and you know transferring it over to my dual blader and using it on him. It took about uh, maybe about 13 or 15 to, to get to 198, but we're finally here. After reaching level 198, I did decide to go and get the remaining EXP required to get to level 199 by grinding. One of my guildies, uh, you know, he referred me to a map over in the Fox God area. So I went over there, we're killing these weird little meatball things, and I actually keep dying. I, I never understood just how important defense is. I don't know if the defense is coming from the gear, the set effects, or maybe if it has something to do with Star Force. It's, it's probably a little bit of everything, honestly. Uh, but I did eventually reach level 199. After that, I went over to, to Black Haven and I spoke to my best friend, One Eye, who will give you a full level, a full level at level 199. To level 200 and after that I began the fifth job advancement if you haven't done fifth job recently it's pretty much broken down into three different steps there are three different portals you have to go through you have to talk to the lady at the end and then do whatever mission she gives you normally what I do first is I head over to Henesis I go through the portal that's in the room with the fifth job or the first job instructor you go into the end you talk to the lady and it's quest complete. Next, I head over to Dark World Tree, go in the portal, go to the end, talk to the lady. She sends you into a room to kill some monsters. Once you're done, you know, you're done. The, the mobs in there are pretty easy. Even with just a, a WSE, I was able to kill them with relative ease, so it's really nothing to stress about. Finally, you head over to Pantheon, to the Magnus Simulator, and this is where things get tricky. In my opinion, Magnus might be the worst boss in MapleStory, and I'll tell you why. This boss is a lower level boss. Obviously, you fight him to do fifth job. Now, he's filled with one-hit mechanics, 
Okay, every one of his attacks are pretty much a one hit. He's got these balls that fall from the sky. They one hit. And guess what? On top of all this, he's got this gas that stuns you for like 10 seconds. I fought Chaos Gloom, and I, I figured him out easier than Magnus. Magnus is just ridiculously hard. With that being said, our burst has to be perfect. If I'm being completely honest, I thought that <laughs> this Magnus fight was going to go a little bit different. I hit him with a flashbang, pop final cut, and uh, the bird just totally annihilated this guy. So maybe 6k Legion is more powerful than I thought. Maybe Dual Blader is just, you know, kind of OP in general. But either way, we destroyed Magnus, and we'll take that win for sure. Finally, weeks of saving node stones. I've saved up 213 node stones, and I finally get to open all of them. Let's go. I want to give a big shout out to my boy Harley. He is the strongest dual blader I know, and he has just been so helpful throughout this entire series so far in answering questions. He gave me this list, which was super helpful. Okay, props to you, and rip them gloves, bro. After opening all of the node stones, I was lucky enough to land a set of perfect tri nodes, and they were bossing tri nodes. Let's go! Uh, I used all my slot enhancements, and I was actually able to get them to level 39. I'm not gonna lie to you, the weight of only having a weapon secondary and emblem is finally starting to set in. I ran Chaos Chicken. Uh, before this cubing session and it really didn't go too well after reviewing my stat window being only at 2.5k stat and I had like something like 60% IED I knew I needed more IED so I ended up re-rolling my emblem I rolled 75% IED with 9% damage or attack so I figured that would be a good place to be at so here is the run for chicken To close out this video, I want to give my two cents on Dual Blader as a bossing mule. I'm not going to touch on mains because that can get complicated. But as far as bossing mule goes, I'm going to give this class a five star. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? It feels good to play. The class feels alive. It doesn't feel stagnant. It has low cooldown fifth job skills that look awesome and do a lot of lines. What more can we ask for? That's why we play this game, is to jump around and kill shit, okay? And that's what exactly what Dual Blader does all the time. This class is super fun. I recommend it completely. Uh, I bet having all your gear would feel even better, especially with a low cooldown hat, uh, like a minus skill percent cooldown hat. So that, that would be a big thing to get. Now, to, before I close out the video, I just want to give a big thanks to my boy Zod. He carried me hard Lomian in an attempt to get a weapon box. Unfortunately, we did not get one. As well as Harley. I mentioned him in the video earlier. Harley, you've been very helpful answering all my questions. He's probably getting tired of me asking him stuff. He's like, just go look it up, dude. Quit asking me. But whatever, man. You're all, you're really cool, Zod. Thank you. And uh, I'm just going to play out this chicken run until the end. I'll see you all in the next one.